So, we just got back from our little walk. We took went to take Tiana to ride her bike for a little bit and took baby honey outside for a little walkie walk. I needed a little bit of fresh air, so it was good. But we got a package. Honey got his first PR package. I'm so excited to be working with Kate and Lane. Um, if you guys don't know, they are a baby brand. And, and they have so many cute, customizable things. They also have like mommy and me things. So like, yes, I'm about to show y'all what we got. And I've been waiting on these so I can post him and take his picture. So I'm gonna do that soon. Let's take a look at what we got. So this is number one outfit that I got. It says Kaysen Ezra. I'm not gonna lie. I think that I thought that this looks very different than the picture. I'll insert a picture of what they sent and then I'll show you guys what I got. Now granted, I don't think I, cause I filled this stuff out when I was in the hospital. So I don't think I really paid attention to what I was choosing, but yes, that's what I got. And it's a little not onesie. So you knot it at the bottom. I don't really know how we're going to do that, but we'll figure it out. And it comes with the mittens the built-in mittens whoever decide whoever made this this was a very smart idea to make to create that in there so yes and it says Kaysen Ezra oh I gotta take my onesie off because who I mean my jacket off is hot I'm hot oh okay this is the rest of my package from Caden Lane first one we got this it says Kaysen Ezra it says Kaysen Ezra you guys see so cute so <sighs> I am actually about to go to the hospital with baby honey because his jaundice just looks really bad I called the so he has a doctor's appointment tomorrow but I called the nurse line and she said to take him to the hospital so I'm getting ready to take him this is not a quick get up and go it's a I gotta feed him after if I'm having a day in motherhood today is the day I need a burp for me doing me as we go as soon as you burp boo boo and he's like as far as I can tell he's fine he is eating okay he is pooping okay but I just I feel like I remember the doctor saying that if he starts to look worse to take him into the hospital the nurse said to take him into the hospital so I'm just gonna take him in even though he has a doctor's appointment tomorrow I feel like you can never be too safe and you know I thought that jaundice was like I don't know what I thought it was, but looking it up, it can be, it's something in the inside. So I just want to take him just so we can make sure if his jaundice levels are, you know, worse or whatever the case may be. You gonna burp for mama? Or you not gonna burp because you just seepy man? You seepy man? You seepy boy? Okay. Let's try one more time. TT. Yeah. Come give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go. Call me when you get there. Mm, I love you. Hi, Hi guys. So it is 1.43. And we just got home from the hospital. He is fine. Everything's okay. His jaundice is low, which is great. I'm just an overprotective mom, I guess. But you can never be too safe, you know? So, we got that checked out. He's good. He is sleeping in his bed. No co-sleeper tonight.
he's out the vlog in there but they gave him like they pricked him in his hand i have not seen them do that to babies before i thought they usually like prick their foot or like i don't know i just i've never seen them prick the hand like an iv so yeah my eyes i am drained i have bags under my eyes like and he has an appointment tomorrow and tiana has a field trip in the morning and i honestly need to get ready for bed but i'm waiting on waffle house to get here and this is mom life this is life of a mom and yeah moral of the story is if you feel a type of way about your baby even if you know they're okay take them anyways because you can never be it's better to be safe than sorry do you hear me that's for everything that's the life lesson that's the lesson of today's video it's better to be safe than sorry and i'm, I'm gonna get off of this because i'm talking too much and yes. you back there wiggling Hi. there he go y'all making noises hi vlog i'm getting ready for baby honey appointment um which is in like 20 minutes by the way but I put some lashes on and I like these these some lashes I was supposed to wear for when I went into labor and this one's longer than this one but they look really good they look really good I'm honestly y'all the little the little ones you put on I'm never doing that again because it took it just takes so long and it pissed me off for the last three days but um, this is my life, y'all. Pumping and trying to get ready. I was just sitting here thinking, y'all know when I start thinking, and I then I need to say what I need to say. So basically, I just wanted to basically say that um, you know it's so easy to like judge people and say what you wouldn't do or what you would do if you were in a situation and you've never gone through that situation like i just be thinking y'all but we just left walmart and y'all nephew is eight pounds 14 ounces he's a big boy he's sleeping right now i'm a good big boy that's a big baby mr sleeping me oh not the smile he feel me talking about him anyways um i just wanted to check in because yeah, and I didn't even get to finish what I was saying earlier. I don't even remember. My bags under my eyes going. Not really, but concealer did lighten them up a little bit. I look good today. Look, I told y'all, if y'all pregnant, do your motherfucking hair before you go have that baby. And you look good and you feel good. I feel good today. It could be the coffee too, though. But I'll see y'all on whatever we do next or at home.
Y'all hear that music in the background? That's me trying to find good music, okay? I'm about to cut some good tunes on the TV. And me and little Kason gonna clean up because we can't function in no dirty room, can we? And somebody, somebody weighs eight pounds and 14 ounces and somebody can get a bath now, huh? Can you get a bath now? God, you look like a daddy. Hi, I care, baby, for nine months for you to look like your pappy. Sorry, that's not a bug, y'all. If y'all see this, this is his belly button thing. <laughs> Just so y'all know. Cause y'all know people be trying to find any little thing out there. Are you ready clean? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, watch us clean cause it's dirty in here. First, I'm gonna make me some coffee. Then we can clean. <laughs> I know somebody that kept their mama up all night not sleep. He's definitely sleep, for sure. But what? But what? I've tried to wake him up, y'all, because honestly, I don't know. Is it possible for a newborn to have their days and their nights mixed up because he is sleeping in the daytime and this is the second night that he's kept me up all night. Now, granted, the other night we was in the hospital, so like we was up, but his daddy was here he did not keep us up that night it's like he he only keeps me up not dad yeah i didn't do this when daddy here and i'm just moving him and stuff because he tired he tired because he kept me up all night all morning i mean so he's tired Not the side eye. Because if I say I'm posting something, I'm doing it. Like, holding myself accountable all 2023. I'm not playing. I force myself to get up out of bed, do what I need to do, get done what I need to get done. Thank you. So, that's my vibe. This year. Your is so Who been asleep? You. I literally have been up just now okay um you can definitely tell I'll put concealer under my eyes let me try to blend it a little bit better <laughs> I'll put these glasses on I need some I need some better glasses because I'll be wanting to be cute my glasses is ugly I've never bought like well first of all I be losing my glasses, so I just be feeling like, do I really need an expensive glass, pair of glasses? But like, I need my glasses now. Like, I'm becoming one of those people who really need to wear their glasses to see. And not that I can't see, like I can see. I just can't see far. And now it's starting to like irritate me because like, if I'm in the bathroom and my phone is on the sink, and the sink is literally like right there. It's not far. I can't see, like I can't really see the words of who texted me. Unless they have a picture by their name, I can't really see it. Like who texted me? That's when I said, "Oh, I need my glasses for sure." Y'all, postpartum. When they say um, helping the mama, child, I see why people deep clean their house before they have a baby. Because first of all, the house look it is not like a mess, mess, but it is gonna get there if I don't clean. Like I have to clean, do the deep clean like this week. And when I say my deep, it's not even like a deep, deep clean. It's like just like that Saturday deep clean that you need to do to like have the house set for the week. I just, well, for one, I just had a baby two weeks ago. That's number one. But number two is I just really have not had the time. It seems like when he go to sleep, I have to do a million things. Sometimes I do try to go to sleep when he go to sleep because I'll be tired as hell. But most of the time, I'll drink some coffee, go about my day. You know what I'm saying? So, today is a coffee day, although he kept me up all night. And today started off really not how I wanted it to start off. I got shit to get done. So, that's my vibe. 
Y'all seen me started to clean up my room yesterday, but I didn't finish because I thought we were gonna go to bed early. Well, boy, was I wrong. And I gotta show y'all my postpartum stomach. It's going down. It's going down. I can't wait to be able to work out. I, <laughs> I hope I'm gonna go out there and do it because I need to. And my butt is giving very much flat ass. It's giving very much flat pancake. <laughs> Honestly though, it ain't been too bad. It has not been too bad. It, it ain't been too bad to the point where I'm like, hell no, I want no more kids. Because honestly, I've already came up with my little girl name. And it really sucks, y'all. Because I don't think that I'm ever going to have any more kids. Because at this point, I'm already 22, right? I got two baby daddies. What the fuck? That's ghetto as hell. But I already, I always knew I was going to have two baby daddies. Because I was never going to have another kid with the first one. Like, and, and this is no, like, shade to him because, like, we're we're cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're friends. And we're, we're family. Like, we've grown up together. I just knew that once once I closed that bridge with him, it was done. You know how it is as a baby mama. Once you, once the baby mama done, it's no, it's no budging back. Like, there ain't no dip, pop, and skip. And we never did that. Which, I feel like we could do, like, a co-parenting video or something. Because, like, we and First Baby Daddy, we, well, all, both of us, like, both of them, I, I co-parent with both of them very well so that is no problem well I parent I'm not gonna say co I don't know what the fuck anyways so basically with the first one we co-parent very well it's never been no oh I'm going to try to dip back in or anything like that but like once we was broke up and done it was like no secret sex no none of that like fuck no hell no once I was done I was done so um Basically, I always knew I was gonna have a second baby daddy because I always wanted another. I always wanted another kid, and um, you know, I just thought I was gonna do it right the second time. Like I thought that my second time was gonna be like my husband, or at least like somebody that I'm like in like a real relationship with that could possibly lead to him being my husband. And yeah, I just thought it was gonna be like that. And <laughs> yeah, funny me, it was not. So. Um, which is so crazy. It's so crazy, like, because y'all, I literally, I literally, it wasn't like no extra. If you know what I'm saying, then you know what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't none of that. So I'm like, what the fuck? How I end up pregnant? But I love my son so, 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 so much. I love him so much. I don't regret him ever. And I just was thinking, like, I probably would never have another kid just because of the. The reason like just because of the fact that i was i feel like i was robbed out of two pregnancies like i didn't enjoy either one of them we well, never again but i have the cutest little girl name picked out and i see why people who are married and people who are in good relationships and they have like that support why they pop out so many fucking babies because you complain like while you're pregnant like oh my god this is so but man that feeling it's nothing like that feeling when you have that baby when that baby pop out and you hold that baby on your chest for the first time it's literally nothing like that feeling it's nothing like the feeling of them being little i love this shit like i love it so much and i honestly wish that i could have like six kids because i would <laughs> i i would um uh I say six kids but like I don't know because I have like a certain life that I want to live I have certain things that I want to accomplish and with me already having two kids like that kind of already makes it harder for me to accomplish the things that I need to accomplish but and I would never be a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home wife and stay home and take because that's just not me like I just I wouldn't want to do that I wouldn't I like to I like to have some type of control so it just wouldn't work for me I wish that it could though because I would love to just stay home and be submissive and I like to talk shit I like to talk back yeah who cuz who you talking to see that's probably why I ain't got no man but we don't even care I don't even care about having no man or anything like that right now but yeah I'm just enjoying it guys and I just have a lot of feelings on my mind today which is why I'm talking um, I can't wait till we can do our girl talks and like you know honey has on a schedule so that we're able to like sit and talk and 
you know just vibe have us a little girl talk it's coming soon so just stay tuned i know that my subscribers that don't have any kids are probably like you know i love you lonnie but like i ain't got no kids i can't really relate i ain't no baby mama you ain't got these problems see what you're looking at is you're gonna learn okay you gonna, don't be like me be better than me okay <laughs> to be better than me do do things the right way protect yourself get on birth control you know you don't want no kids you just like you know have these talks with these men like see where they head be at like have talks with people don't be afraid to ask anything see if y'all goals align see if y'all family views align that should be important okay yeah because i'll sit here and talk because y'all know how i do i be procrastinating because i gotta go edit but i'm about to wash clothes i feel like every time i wash clothes they pile back up so i'm not getting anywhere because i didn't wash like a lot of clothes since i've been home and <laughs> every time i turn around it's clothes on the ground like and they be tiana clothes honestly i'm gonna teach her how to wash laundry because yeah But I feel good. 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 Today I feel good. Especially surprisingly that I didn't sleep at all last night. This week we don't really have no plans. We don't have no really plans going on for real. For real. Nothing much this week. I need to clean and I'm still adjusting to being a mother of two. Watching him breathe. Last night we watched a movie which was really fun. It was me and him and TT. And I said, wow, I got two kids. Bubba is pooping. Ain't you? Are you being Mr. Poopy Man? Huh? Are you being Mr. Poopy Man? We're about to take some pictures, huh? Just real quick. I think I showed y'all already, but he has some things from Caden Lane that he was sent. So I'm about to get him dressed and just take him some pictures in those things. So let me show y'all. So this is the outfit. This is Caden Ezra. Caden Ezra. And then a blue swaddler let me open it i'm just about to get him dressed and then i don't know if i'm gonna take him in his basket or if i'm going to take him up front and put him on the couch I'm about to take some NyQuil, y'all, because I am feeling a little bit like my throat is wanting to start hurting. And you say NyQuil? I mean DayQuil. I wish I could take NyQuil, but I can't. And I don't know how much to take. I mean, I like I'm taking a shot. What kind is it? Oh, blue's the worst. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> That little thing that I do, whoo, I like that. It made my throat stop hurting a little bit. Put put. Yeah. Say hi. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Look at this one. Rolling around. Anyways, y'all. I wasn't gonna come on here and vlog, but I was like, they don't come on here to see you all done up. They wanna see the real, so this is the real. I need to take a shower. Okay, I did take a shower yesterday, but one shower a day is not doing it for me. Okay, I, and it's just like, I can't even, I can't even. I need to get him a swing. I mean, like I can't make it work, honestly. It just be a lot. 
and sometimes he gets he's not amazed by sitting in the car seat in the, in the bathroom or sitting in um in his little bathtub he's just not amazed with it okay he's just like okay you know and i like to take long showers but he be he be chilling for the most part like for the most part he'll chill but sometimes he do be like okay now girl come on do i look tired because i am somebody keeps me up in the morning now that's how our mornings are going our days and just having and then like when he wakes me up it's like at that point i just need to get up and stop trying to go back to sleep because when i try to go back to sleep then i be late to get the big one ready for school so it's, it's just like okay we're trying to get it together but house is a mess i'm a mess i need to cook dinner so let's get it together guys let's let's get it together I need I just took a pause break, y'all, because I had to sit down and eat. But, okay, I know that when I did my mom cozy pumps, it was sponsored, right? But, like, since I've gotten to use them and I've been pumping, I love these, honestly. Um, the only thing is, you know, I don't think that it empties me out all the way. But it does enough for me to feel comfort and not feel pain. And then also, like... It's so convenient. It's so convenient just to have these and not have to be sitting by the wall. Like, if your big pump plugs into the wall. So I know some people's pumps, you can take them around with you, but mine, I have to sit by it. And I have to sit in the bed because it's by my bed. I mean, like, I can unplug it, but that's just a lot. But what I was saying was, y'all, is that it's just very convenient. Like, when I'm out, I can pump, so I make sure that I pack these in his diaper bag always. Um, what else? Oh, and then like, you know, just when I'm walking around and doing stuff, like being a single mom, you don't really have a lot of time to just sit around. Like, you know, the time that your baby is napping, you need to be doing things. So it's not like, oh, I need to sit down. And <clears throat> pumping slows me down. Like when I have to sit and pump, it's like, oh, uh, I dread it. And then also because it's in my bed, it's like, then I get tired. So, yeah, I definitely recommend these. I don't know if my code, discount code still works for them, but I will link it below. If I forget, type in the comments if you want it. But, um, yeah, I'll link, I'll link it down below, guys, if you guys are interested in them. I don't recommend this just being your only pump, but I do recommend, like, if you plan on breastfeeding for real, to get them. To get this, I like this. And there are many different other brands. This is just the brand that I have tried. And I like. I enjoy it. I love you. Love you. His pooping, his pooping face is hilarious. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. You gotta get those poopies out the butt butt. Got it? Mm, there we go. Mommy, help you get those poopies out. I can't. today and it's not even today it's right now i feel good right now um because i didn't feel good this morning this morning i was like what the hell i'm tired but i feel good um feel good right now and here we go with our little chit chat y'all already know how i get if you're going through postpartum okay be kind to yourself take it easy give yourself time I'm two weeks postpartum and every day has still been a roller coaster. Y'all know how I said, oh, I can't wait till I have this baby because I can't wait to feel like myself again. I don't fucking feel like myself yet, <laughs> but I can't, I feel like myself more than I did when I was pregnant and that's just because I didn't really have a good pregnancy, but that's neither here nor there. I'm feeling good today. 
when you have those good days take advantage of those good days appreciate those good days because just know throughout life you gonna have them good and them bad days now postpartum it hit a little bit different okay it hit a little bit like what the fuck is going on but remember you got this you got this we got it I got it, you got it, we got it. That's the fucking coffee. Y'all, that's the coffee. But I got my little son, son. He just be chilling. Y'all see what I mean when I say he's a good baby? Yeah, because some days, y'all, in this postpartum journey, I be feeling like, hell no, I can't do this. Then other days, I be feeling like, I got this. This it? I can do this. Right now is one of those I can do this moments. As you can tell. So I'm about to get my work done, and I need to go cook dinner because... Yeah, I need to go cook dinner. I remember that teriyaki chicken that I made that I couldn't eat because I had to go push the baby out. I'm about to make some more tonight because I really wanted that teriyaki chicken. I'm going to put it in the air fryer. Yep, I need to go do that right now actually because I don't know how long it got to be in the air fryer. I'm going to put it in the air fryer oven because the oven turned into an air fryer. And I don't know what kind of size we're going to eat, but I normally always make rice with literally everything. I don't think I'm gonna do that though. I wish I had macaroni. What the fuck? It ain't, it ain't that many sides either. Jesus Christ, help me. It's actually Saturday, so this is gonna be our last day of this weekly vlog, if this is even enough for a weekly vlog. <gasps> oh, whatever this is. <sighs> I'm feeding Mr. Butt Butt Man right here, and we're doing bottle to this morning when he's cranky and like I have things to do because like I need to get up and clean up I have to pee I need to shower like I got a couple things that I need to do this morning so when he's cranky I just give him the bottle and we had a long night didn't we did we have a long night so um my armpits are hairy and I I look like a ghost <laughs> I look mess i am watching pastor sarah jakes roberts i'm having a hard day today right as you guys can tell and i feel like this is off topic but i feel like i'm getting real skinny so i need to start eating because like i don't know have i always been this skinny i feel like i'm getting like skinnier because my stomach has gone down a lot but i don't know i don't i don't think i eat enough i don't really have an appetite and i don't know why that is but I'm watching Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts and this video is an hour long but it has just stood out to me because basically she's talking about move out of self-preservation mode to be able to flourish and do the things that we need to do and just have that faith that God is going to protect us. So that just really stands out to me because I have and I'm going to cry. <laughs> I feel like I say this every vlog. <laughs> Y'all, I promise these are just tears. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm healing. So, like, there's going to be a lot of crying. So, basically, I just feel like I have been in survival mode. So, instead of calling it self-preservation mode, I'm going to say survival mode. Because that is how I feel. I feel like I have literally been in... I just feel like I have been in survival mode like mostly all of my life I feel like I've been in survival mode now I'm to the point where I realize it and I hold back a lot because I'm scared um you know we used to, we used to talk about love a lot on my channel because I am a lover girl I love love I'm a sucker for love I believe in love I I'm a lover. I just feel like when the time does come and it is my time to love, I hope that I'm not bitter and angry and I hope that I allow myself to love because I feel like I've allowed myself to love so much and I've gotten hurt. I don't want to love anymore, you know, because I don't want to hurt. <laughs> and um, that's just with everything that's not even just relationships that's with friends as well like I'm not open to making new friends because I just don't trust anybody I don't trust no one I feel like everyone always has like and I just feel like I've I've had to go on this route of like protecting myself throughout life you know and 
this really stood out to me because I do need to just live and stop worrying. I sh I'm an overthinker, so like, I worry about things like this all the time. I stress about things like this all the time, and I just need to let go and let God handle that part of my life and just live life and know that, you know, if I get my feelings hurt, God is going to be there to help piece me back together and in that sense, you know. We may feel like we can't do things where we want to break me for example I want to break generational curses but no one has ever broke generational curses in my family I would literally be the star of it so we feel like how can we do it if we're the first ones to do it we don't really have anyone around us to do it that has done it God's gonna get us through it Okay, first of all, I got acne stuff on my face because my face is still breaking out. I don't know what's going on, but we got Honey in his bed because he needs to sleep in his bed. I just went through this basket of clothes, right? Because I, I keep my like pajamas in this little basket right here. No, I never went through it because I was wearing the same couple things because I was pregnant with the big belly. Well, now since the belly is gone, sad girl line, I cleaned it out to see what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. So I made piles and here are my piles of clothes. And I'm just gonna put them away. I'm having some pain in my back like I don't know what it is but it's like my shoulder blade is literally killing me I have no idea what is going on with it but it's hurting very bad Pam Pam, because that Pam Pam need be changed, okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. We get that Pam Pam changed first, and then Mommy get you dressed, and then Mama get you milkies. Or we can do milkies before we do dress, okay? Did I tell y'all I like these bottles? I can't remember if I told y'all or not, but I like these event bottles. So I think that I'm gonna buy more. I wish that the glass ones came shaped like this. Let me, I'll let him take a break between the feedings. But you see, you guys see how it's like fat up here. Here you go, Papa. Here you go. There you go. 
they're not the glass ones are not shaped like that the glass ones are kind of flat and then the nipple comes out I said I wasn't going to mix it in with our feedings because I've been using the man bottles and I've also been breastfeeding and I can tell he's getting confused this nipple is longer and I don't know I would think that this one wouldn't confuse him because it's kind of shaped like my nipple like it's like fat like the breast and then it has the nipple that sticks out but when my nipples are flat and I don't know if this is like something that you can fix because you guys know like when they start breastfeeding on your nipples and if you don't know you're pregnant because I didn't notice your nipple expands out okay I did not know that right if it's not expanded out or it takes too long to come out he's like y'all know that video they'd be like where the is it where is it like that is I he goes crazy did your good milky now you feel better now you feel better boy yeah yeah mama I'm so sad that he's getting big that I can burp him like this because when he first came home I couldn't even burp him like this he was so little breastfeeding him update i love breastfeeding him like if you, i think that everybody should try breastfeeding and if you can try to do it to try to at least stick it out because i don't know like the the bonding moment that y'all have is just it's i don't have anything else that can compare to that bonding moment that you have and the comfort that they receive you can literally tell the difference when i bottle feed him versus when i breastfeed him you can literally tell how comforting and soothing it is to him and he immediately falls asleep immediately like I'm sure he's up right now yeah see <laughs> you see how he's up if he was on the breast right now he would not be up he would be asleep you can just tell how comforting it is to him like how he just sits there and hugs the boob i get why moms do it for a long time and that is why they say do never you never speak on something that you've never experienced i used to always say i don't know how moms breastfeed for a year i couldn't do it i don't i still don't think i could do it because I'm literally giving myself a time frame. I'm I'm trying to at least make it until he's at least three or four months, okay? At least by my birthday. And then I might stop because it's just a lot for me mentally. Mentally, little, mentally it's a lot, you know, with me having the anxiety and stuff. And I think that had I, had I not have like this anxiety, I would probably do it longer because I do love comforting my butt. <laughs> That's what I think of your morality. Let me tell y'all how, how good God is. I tell you. I tell you, I swear. Do y'all hear the word? I'm being filled with the Holy Ghost is that you love them with an everlasting love. And I'm sick and tired of people he said the real, about something that they don't have. Teaching the real sign of the Holy Ghost is when you love people who have wronged you. It's 11:10, okay? It's 11:10. you worship and will. And yet you I just tweeted 3 minutes ago. One thing I plan to do, one plan one thing I plan to learn a little better this year is forgiveness. Come on now. Come on God, I hear you God. I hear Proof is in the progress, money's not an object Busy than a motherfucker, you know how my job get Barking up the wrong tree, you know how the dogs get Haven't fallen off yet Come with a classic, they come around years later and say it's a sleeper The ears are real, the petty is real Might you buy extra feature Deposit the money to Brenda Leticia Or Linda Felicia She came for me twice, I didn't even know for her once You know I'm a pleaser 42 millimeter, was made in Geneva yeah, I probably should go to Yeshiva We went to Ibiza Yeah, I probably should go live with Yeezy I need me some Jesus But as soon as I started confessing my sins He wouldn't believe us Sins I got Ah, uh, that handsome, bye bye Mmm, say hi I'm Casey I don't know if I'll be getting clogged milk ducts or what But my breasts just be hard like not both of them but like sometimes this one just gets really hard so i just pump because i'm finna get ready to go to target i was going to do a, 
a drive up order y'all but i want to look at the baby stuff it's his first valentine's day and i want to at least take him like a picture um a cute little valentine's day-ish picture so i look at my butt oh i guess this is all their clearance they have lots of clearance i love a good sale okay so they have this these two hold on let me show y'all but it's literally just for pictures so i think that i'm probably gonna get this one because i like this one it says my first valentine's day this is just regular but i don't know we'll see surprisingly target has a lot they normally don't have baby stuff like after cutting up on mommy So, anyways, this is what I got from the store, y'all. I got these passies because, okay, I like, I love Itsy Ritzy, okay? I want a diaper bag from them. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> these are Itsy Ritzy as well, but he doesn't really, like, he'll take it, but not, like, he don't really want to take it, if that makes sense. We're going to try. You okay, dude? You got gas? That mommy see if you got gas. One, two, three. Ooh, that baby got gas in that, in that bubble. I got these because they were on sale, y'all. These were regularly $16.99 and they were $8.49. Y'all, I am not finna be doing the dishes. Then I just got pads. onesie i got this onesie for him but i didn't get no balloons i didn't see no valentine's day stuff actually so that's why i didn't and then i just got some deodorant okay If I put some milkies on it, will you want it? If I put some milkies on it, will you want it? We might have a winner! Uh. Yeah. Together. I can help you. This is not what I want to do. Huh? We're leaving this for Does dad to do, Jason. To do, I just don't feel like doing it. We're going to leave that right here for daddy. Mm. It was cute. If I don't like it. y'all. It's February 13th, it's Monday, and I am up in the kitchen trying to just, well, I don't know why I look orange. I'm up in the kitchen trying to make me something to eat because your girl don't be eating like she needs to. I have so much stuff to do. Y'all you know, like when you just got so much stuff to do, you just don't know where to start to get anything done. So then you procrastinate and you just don't get nothing done. If you're a procrastinator, then you know what I'm talking about. Well, I did get a little Valentine's Day something yesterday. And then I got a balloon and I got some cups. They're so cute. I love flowers. You know what? I see my babies have separate rooms. Now, granted, them being in the same room is when they're little is like so convenient, right? Because you don't have to go far. Like, they're right there. But them being in their own room, you can be loud, like in your room. And then they won't wake the baby up. I understand. I understand. Yeah, it's not going to be long before he finna have to bounce up out of here, baby. Because, mm -mm. surprisingly though, he's actually not that noise sensitive. Like, <laughs> I like listening to my music loud. Um, and... I was always worried, like, okay, when this baby come, 
Am I not gonna be able to listen to my music no more? Cause I love my music. Ciao. He be knocked out. I be playing the music loud. If he's up, he vibe with me. He's so great. Stink got his first bath, y'all. And I know y'all gonna ask me, did I record it? No, I did not record it. I'll share the next bath with you guys, but I don't know how it's gonna work with him getting his procedure today. And um, I don't know how that's gonna work. So I don't know when's the next time he'll get a bath, which is why he got a bath yesterday. His first bath, his first bath, it went so good. I'll insert pictures here. He did so good and he really liked it. I did do the little TikTok method where you put the baby, um, put the blanket on the baby and he did great. He did, he's so good. Look. Look who's up. Gotta make their butt butt man. Gotta make milkies. Gotta do mom shit. See you later. <laughs> sun sun is right here, down here. And his little bouncer. But I'm about to use these new products that I got from Aluminum. So it's like a whitening toothpaste. So this is the box, right? Seen it in my little TikTok vlog. I'm gonna let y'all know how they work out. It comes with the whitening strips, mouthwash, and then the toothpaste. I this is my first time using it, so I don't really know how it works that good, but we're gonna try to test it out and see. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm trying to get dressed, but motherly duties. And I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about how um <clears throat> I was watching the Soft Life Through Christ, the second podcast. And they were just basically talking about their experiences, which just kind of made me think about how I wanted to be a bottle girl right last last year yeah last year go start this bottle girl job that I had got I found out I was pregnant like just thinking about how it's crazy how things work out and you know just how like we may not understand things at the time but like everything happens for a reason you never know the reason but like it could be a it could be god looking out for you and you don't even know it's so crazy how one this every decision that you wake up and make from the time that you wake up affects your life in the outcome of your life <laughs> i promise y'all i'm not like on drugs or nothing like is this some shit you talk about we like high or something i am not on drugs i'm just like I'm so in tune and with myself, it's so crazy. Like I just always self reflect and I just be thinking like, dang, like what if I had went back down there and took that bottle girl job, moved down there cause I was just gonna up and leave. Moved down to Georgia and found out I was, found out I was pregnant. Like, why that love shattering? You're not cold. I just be thinking about that. And how that's crazy and just how that wasn't the plan that God had for me. God had different plans for me. And staying here was not what I wanted to do. If you know me, you know I've talked about moving a long time. I have been talking about moving since I was probably like 16. And I'm 22 now. I'll be 23 in May. And I've been talking about moving to Georgia for a long time. That is now out of my sight. I don't think I want to move to Georgia anymore. But I just... That is just crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, if you're beating yourself up about how things may not be working out how you want, remember that your plan may not always align with the plan that God had for you. God had other plans for mommy, huh? God had, yeah. That's, that little smile will be confirmation for me. Yeah, him did. Him had other plans for your mama. Says, proof is in the progress, money's not an object. Busy than a motherfucker, you know how my job get. Barking up the wrong tree, you know how the dogs get. Haven't fallen off yet. Yeah.
come with a classic. They come around years later and say it's a sleeper. The errands are real, the petty is real. Might try my ex for a feature. Deposit the money to Brenda Leticia, or Linda Felicia. She came for me twice, I didn't even know for her once. You know I'm a pleaser. 42 millimeter was made in Geneva. Yeah, I probably should go to Yeshiva. We went to Ibiza. I'm helping Tiana with her Valentine's Day cards. I'm going to just come on here and chat with y'all for a little bit. So, y'all know Stinky had his appointment today. He did very good. So, they gave him some Tylenol. And it's like the little medicine thing, right? So, it's like the shape of like the nipple of a bottle. and But it's like a medicine giver, right? So, she put the Tylenol in there and gave it to him and he he took it right and then he was so dramatic he did not like it he went to spitting it out did this thing he does this thing y'all when he starts to choke <coughs> instead of like you know choking maybe because he don't know how to like cough or like you know to get it out i don't know but he stops breathing for a second and it scares the crap out of me so he did that. So I'm concerned. I'm like, oh my Lord, Jesus girl, hold on now. Cause he, he, she had to give him some Benadryl after. And so I tried to put, get the, give him the Benadryl put in his mouth. At first he was like, girl, you ain't finna trick me. Cause I just had it in my mouth and that wasn't no milk. That wasn't no milk. So he spit it out. He spit it all out, but he got enough to where he was able to, you know, still be comfortable. Oh, you writing it big. Let me let me write mine big too. I wrote mine really big. Look how I wrote it. <laughs> I wrote like really really big. I like uh, yeah, I can see it. Hold on. There it go. Like I wrote it really big. Okay, school. Let me write it. I totally forgot about the Valentine's Day cards. I wouldn't have remembered unless Tita said something. And you didn't say nothing about them, surprisingly. I'm surprised I forgot. I'm surprised you forgot too. You want one of the black ones? Hey, I'm writing know. happy birthday. <laughs> um, <laughs> look how cute the brown ones look. They are cute. They're different. Yeah, it's. Do any of them got sprinkles? No. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna show two. And the up. Good job. That looked real good, actually. <laughs> Y'all learning cursive at school? No. Oh, my teacher just... taught me how to write my name like that. I asked, she her, did. I asked her, how do I write my name in cursive? And she showed, yeah, she showed you. Did y'all know they don't teach the kids cursive in school no more? That's crazy. I guess, I mean, you don't really need it anyways. And just do some chicken scratch on the paper. You know, just a little chicken. Bubble man. I wonder why they don't teach cursive in school anymore. Look, you like when I sing ABCs too. You ready, Casey? Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now How many friends do I have? I forgot to get the cursive ones. Next time, walk case and sing with Bobby. Little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. That's another one. Wow. Oh, this my this used to be my favorite. Grandma used to sing this to me when I was a baby. What? And every time I hear it, it makes me cry. But like not anymore. But it used to. You are my sunshine. I know this. 
my teacher, you know, my teacher from oh, my you Oh wait, rock a bye baby. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's going to sleep. It is. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I gotta get this girl ready for bed because we'll sit here and talk all night. So y'all, I had me a drink today. I wasn't even gonna tell y'all, but I did. I had me a drink today. So I pumped. I just had one drink and I heard it was fine to still breast meat breastfeed if you have a drink and i know they make alcohol strips but i don't have any so i'm just going to use this milk and it makes me sad it i know i know i know it makes me very sad because that's a lot of milk and it don't even normally be i mean like it do normally be that much but not at nighttime at nighttime it don't never be like this much and i was like well granted i didn't pump all day since he went to his appointment so um yeah i'm just going to use this for like i want to make like some lotion or like some soap or something so i'm gonna put it in his bag for that back I got this sponsorship deal with a postpartum company and I was like let me get dressed and go godly and go to Tiana's running club but I was like this would be good outside time good bonding time for us and it's very important to show up for your kids like I just remember how important it was for me for someone to show up for me so I'm gonna go show up and participate with my baby. And, oh God, take little stinky man with me. How do y'all cut these so cute? Because mine is flying all over the room, I'm not lying. And I got an idea just to do like my postpartum body and feature it in there. And I'm gonna go out and do a little walking. So, yeah, why not? And I'm gonna take my tripod I might take my, I'm gonna take my tripod. I'm gonna get those scenes after the kids leave because it's gonna be like more kids and more moms out there. feeding him and I thought everything was good right I thought he was gonna fall asleep but I don't know maybe he's a little bit more fussy because of the procedure from yesterday I'm not really sure so instead of me doing the brand thing because I didn't have time it's already 2 30 which I'm not late I like that I'm not late but I'm not on time either so I said, let me just go ahead and head there. And Tiana's not here. And I can't reach back there right now. So I'll see y'all at the park. fussy so I'm just gonna give him some cuddles and see if he tries to take a nap he went to sleep for a little bit but since we got on our street he went he woke up so oh he falling asleep now y'all I'm tired and <laughs> I think today is one of those days I'm asleep while the baby sleep that what they be saying yeah that's what I'm gonna do
right there, Bubba Man. Goodness, Bubba Man. I'll watch him very quick. <laughs> you say nothing's wrong at all, babe. I say that we're falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm done biting. In your heart, you keep trying. And the truth is not hiding. That's just the way we are. But you can't say you love me when it's like that. This is the only way I can get work done, literally. I can't make this up. This is the only way I can get the work done. But I am not complaining because my sunshine is way worth it. And him, him Jeff wants some cuddles and to sleep on your mama. So him can do that. Him can sleep on him mama. Yeah. We got things to do today. So y'all, if you got something you need to do today, this is why I came to tell y'all. If you got something you need to do today, get up. Get up and go do it right now. Right now. Because them goals is not going to accomplish themselves. That's how it be. He be comfortable, but he just be so red. He turned like a little tomato. Every time. <laughs>